that normally come in loaded with snow crab and king crab are coming up empty this year. When it finally stopped moving around, the bloody carcass was hauled on the board with cheers to Randy's entourage. A triumphant Ramsey can be seen high-fiving the captain. Ramsey could simply have asked for the shark to be released while still alive, catch and release as it's known, but he had other plans. He wanted to turn it into a trophy and put it on his wall. The fee, $2,000, a few days after the first catch, Ramsey was back on the fishing boat again. On this occasion, he landed a 9-foot hammerhead shark, which was subjected to the same slow, lingering death. Of course, there is no mention of this in his Channel 4 documentary, and now Sharkgate, the senseless slaughter of two animals which Ramsey has since urged the world to help conserve. So how did Ramsey find himself killing sharks for sport? A practice, some would argue, that is every bit as wasteful and barbaric as shark fin fishing.